This is a problem that has been frustrating for my entire life up until like two years ago. And it was this. It was like, I don't know, call this 8, 6, and we'll call that 12. And the question is, find the area of this triangle. And like, you know, I learned the area of a triangle when I was like four. So I'm thinking, this is super easy. I got this. First thing, I don't even look at it. I just write down the formula. Area equals one half base times height. Everything's cool. I'm about to get an A on this sucker. Um, but then what's crazy is there is no height, right? I'm looking at it and there's totally not a height. And there's not even like a witty way to find the height. Remember, the height is exactly perpendicular to the base and there isn't one. So for years, the answer was like, okay, so there's no area. For, I don't know what the area is for this triangle. This is not possible. Uh, and it turns out there's like a scandal going on in the world where there's this like well-kept secret where there is actually a formula for the area of a triangle if you don't have the height. And, you know, it's been passed down generation after generation. I'm going to do that now because, you know, we have a pretty good rapport and you seem pretty cool. Normally, I wouldn't divulge this to anyone because the person that told me this formula, obviously, I agreed that I wouldn't share it. I'm just going to make a tiny exception right now, and I'm counting on you to, be, to do the same thing. But check it out. This is it, okay? You absolutely can find the area of a triangle without the height, and it's this crazy formula that I don't know why more people don't know. The area of this triangle or any triangle is S, S minus A, S minus B, and then S minus C, which looks all crazy. And what is A, B, and C, and what is S? A, B, and C are the sides. So it doesn't even matter the order. This could be A, B, and C, A, B, and C. Who cares? The fact is they're each unique, and one of them is A, one's B, and one's C. So S is this. S equals one half A plus B plus C. So in my case, it's one half. Let's add up these sides. This would be eight plus six plus 12, right? So doing a little bit of math, it looks like 14, looks like 26, half of 26, S is 13. Cool? Then we just plug this in, area equals, right? And you have 13 is my S right here. And then I have 13 minus eight times 13 minus six times 13 minus 12. And then do that slowly and surely. Remember order of operations, do this first, this first, this first, multiply them all and root it. And I don't have a calculator with me right now. And I'm not the rain man, so I don't totally know what this is. It's going to come out very decimally, I'm sure. But that's it. <laughs> that is the formula for the area of a triangle without the height. It's like super mysterious and cool. But now you know. And if you want to be popular like at parties and stuff, I get it if you want to share this with a couple people. It's cool with me. to. I mean, just so long as you don't abuse that. All right. And remember, if you're struggling in your geometry class at your high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School and the credits will be transferred back to your school.